Hi folks, this video is primarily intended for ham radio operators with Kenwood radios that are connecting to software like Sartrack and they're having problems not seeing anything. So the three things I'm really going to cover here are the board rates, the, which TNC you need to connect to and the cable connections. So what we're seeing here firstly on the board rate is on the display on the top left, you'll see APRS 12, which stands for 1200 board. You want to make sure it stays on 1200 board. Don't get confused and set the APRS board rate to the same as your port, which connects to your computer. The computer generally is set at say 96. You could choose any speed really, but the important thing is keep the APRS on 1200. If you change the APRS to 1200, you'll see on the right hand side there a busy signal but it won't pop up that text message that you're seeing at the moment. So if that's a type of problem you're having, that will explain firstly why you're not seeing the messaging on the radio and also why you would not be seeing it in Sartrack. So if your APRS is not set to 1200 board, it's not gonna pop up a messaging on the radio, neither is it gonna transmit across to the computer. So it's important just to get that correct or not change it, should I say, um, so that the other steps will work. Otherwise, it's going to be a compounded problem. So let's move on to the next one, which is actually the cable connection for the Kenwood radio. So this is the back of the radio unit itself. There's two ports, data port and PC port. The PC port is for audio, which connects to microphone and speakers on your computer. And it's not necessary. It's used more for things like Echolink. The data port here is not used for Sartrack and similar software. This, this data port is only for programming your radio if you're using the Kenwood software for things like channels and menu settings and that sort of thing. So if you plugged in here, you need to unplug here and plug it into the port, the comms port, which is at the back of the head unit. This is the back of the head unit and you'll see on the bottom right, I've plugged it in there to the comm port. That is the port you wanna be using if you connect into the TNC for any functionality to control the radio, not the radio port. And a lot of people get that mixed up and it also causes confusion. You think you're connected and yet nothing's happening. You're not reading anything. So that's the next, the next important step that we just need to have addressed. This next step may also sound a bit counterintuitive because we are working with APRS, but you want to be on packet mode. So you want to press your TNC button there and make sure you see packet 1200. It needs to be on the packet 1200 for the TNC side to work and the software to read it. Right, here is the Sartrack software and I'm just going to open up and delete the stations that I've got reported so far just so we can show that the RF side is actually working. Right, I've cleared now what I've received. And you'll see on the left there, I've only got the TNC active. The internet, the APRS IS, the internet link is dead. So I'm not receiving anything from the internet. I'll only be receiving via the radio. That is the setup for the TNC. In my case, I've got COM port three. You might have something else over there. And the important thing there is the board rate, which I've got set to 9,600. That is the communication, as I said, to the radio, not to APRS itself. You can also open the debug view and what you should be seeing is that black text there. That'll show that, that I've highlighted, that'll show that it is reading APRS data through from the radio. If you're not seeing that, you want to maybe just close, disconnect and reconnect the TNC like I'm showing here now. Or you want to maybe go and check that your APRS board rate is correct on your radio or that you have you know that you have connected it to the correct com port at the back of the head unit and not to the radio itself with that sort of in in place and you are seeing this black text here showing the APRS data coming in you should have your stations then displaying on your map and doing whatever you need to do and whether you're messaging or vice versa you, you know that you are connecting correctly to the TNC on the Kenwood radio what I'm showing here is a couple of the stations that are starting to come in. Uh, it looked like it got a little bit quiet, unfortunately, when I shot this part of the video. So, you know, it's, it's not actually flooding in with a lot of stations on RF at the moment. So I've got one or two weather stations that are reporting in. But obviously on a busier morning, you're going to see a lot more vehicles driving around, which tends to make it a little bit more interesting.
and we can just have a look at some of the details you can see on some of the stations that have come in. And that's really about all I wanted to show. I didn't want to make this a very long video. So just in summary again with the Kenwood radio, the three things to look out for is that the board rate on the APRS stays 1200. Your board rate to the computer may be 96. That you've got the TNC set to packet 1200 and not APRS 1200. You will have to put that back again if you just want to use the radio on its own again for APRS. And then the last thing is that the cables, the PC cable is connected into the back of the head unit which says COM and not the back of the radio. And that's about it really. So yeah guys, stay safe out there and I'll see you in my next video.